Hold your tongue and let me live. This is a line quoted from John Donne's poem. We are not interested in the poem here. We are interested in the structure of this line. You two try to analyze this sentence and try to see if it is exactly one sentence or there are more than one sentence here. Chu chu chi chi chu chu chi how many sentences can there be you try i'll come back to this issue later good evening everybody this is the 18th session of uh, advanced english language mantra channel if you remember in the 17th session we tried to discuss conditional if clauses we couldn't uh, define clause there and today try to give you a fair idea of what a clause is this is necessary before we go to the conditional clauses again now the concept of a sentence and a clause these are very interrelated if you don't understand the concept of sentence the concept of clause will be difficult so today we are discussing two things one is you know sentence and the other is clause so what is a sentence sentence is a combination of words very fine combination of words that give a concrete sense of meaning to be more precise this combination of words must have a subject and a predicate part and only then it can give you a fair idea of something So how many types of uh, sentences can be There are at least three types of sentences One is simple sentence Number 2 it is complex sentence and number 3 it is compound sentence Simple sentence is really very simple It's just uh, made up of a subject and a predicate without any complication Say uh, I play football it ends there so this is a very simple form of a sentence and complete sentence it gives a very fair idea of what i do i play football so this is a simple sentence number 2 complex sentence the basic idea behind complex sentence is that there is a complete sentence and an incomplete sentence right so that complete sentence is called principal clause and incomplete part is called subordinate clause we'll see it later but for the time being you just try to understand this same old example if you press the chalk it will break so if you press the chalk does not give you a complete sense something is still wanting but it will break it gives you a fair idea of a complete sense so it will break is the principal clause and uh, if you press the chalk the meaning of this part depends on the second part now come to the third group that is compound sentence in compound sentence is not that difficult because there are two sentences put together two simple sentences put together and it is joined by a conjunction and or but etc so these are the basic forms of sentences simple sentence complex sentence and compound sentence now come to the examples we have here and then we will discuss both sentences and clauses together side by side so chu chu chi chi chu chu chi how many sentences can there be this sentence hold your tongue and let me love how many sentences are there you have any answer it is just one sentence just you know you uh, sort your brain and open your eyes and you see there is only one full stop this is a marker if there is only one full stop it's one sentence but uh, it looks that there are two sentences yes there are two clauses 
In such cases, sentences are often called clauses. So, hold your tongue. There is a subject, verb and object. Where is the subject? It is not mentioned here, but it is very much understood. You hold your tongue. And let me love, let me love. You let me love means you allow me to love. And these two parts actually are joined by this conjunction that is called and. So this is a compound sentence. We began our session with this sentence. Now you have understood that hold your tongue and let me love actually is one sentence and divided into two parts and these two parts are independent parts. These two parts put together gives a better meaning but any one part also conveys some complete meaning. Therefore, we have two sentences put together and made one. Now it becomes one sentence with two clauses. And in this case, it is compound sentence. Let's see other examples. Subject, predicate. And in predicate part, we have verb, object, and other elements, modifiers, or other phrases may be there. Now, subject and predicate. Jim loves chocolates. This is a simple form of sentence. Jim loves chocolates. You can say Jack and Jill love chocolates. In that case, Jack and Jill together make a subject. Two names you know, do not mean that uh, they are two subjects, no. Jack and Jill together make a subject. Like Jim loves chocolate. We have a subject, Jim. We have a verb, love, and we have object. That means predicate part and subject part. Therefore, this is a very simple form of a sentence. And this is called a simple sentence. Now come to number two, complex sentence. Although Jim has enough of them, he wants all the chocolates in the box. Although Jim has enough of them, he wants all the chocolates in the box. Now, although this makes a problem here. You just hide although and try to read the sentence. Jim has enough of them. It's a beautiful sentence. It's a simple sentence and complete sentence but because of although this is a subordinating conjunction the meaning of this sentence is restricted and it depends on the second part although jim has enough of them he wants all the chocolates in the box he wants all the chocolates in the box is a complete sentence it has a meaning and that is available without this part. The second part conveys a meaning without the help of the first part. But the first part cannot do that. The meaning of the first part somehow depends on the second part. He wants all the chocolate in the box. Now these two parts are two clauses. One part depends on the other. Therefore, this type of sentence structure is called complex sentence. One simple sentence is there. There are two parts. One part is a complete sentence. At least it gives a complete uh, uh, meaning. And the other part tries to attain the quality of a sentence, status of a sentence, but somehow it fails. Because although is the word that restricts its meaning. So in that case, we call it complex sentence. But together, they give a better idea of the thing. That is why we use complex sentence and also compound sentences. Come to, uh, say, third part. Jim is old. Its complete meaning is there. Jim is old. There is no problem. But he can walk first. Maybe it is expected that an old man cannot walk first. That is a different issue. But you take these two parts differently. 
they give you complete sense of meaning there is no problem but is there this but is a conjunction like this but and so hold your tongue and let me love like this we have jim is old but he can walk fast and these together gives a better idea why better if you say jim is old okay fine it's a good sentence but when i say jim is old he can walk first it gives a better idea in the sense we do not expect you know a first walking from an old man but jim is an exceptional case that much meaning comes together when we make a compound sentence like this so this is what we have now you have clear uh, say idea of a sentence this is simple sentence this is complex sentence and this is compound sentence and clause one is subordinate clause that we get here jim has enough of them this part actually derives meaning from the second part so this is subordinate clause and this is independent clause two independent clauses or two principal clauses coming together joined by but this is called compound sentence so one is simple sentence only one part is there then complex sentence there are two parts one is principal clause the other is subordinate clause and this is compound sentence we have two clauses two clauses are well equipped principal clauses so you have three types of sentences and two types of clauses and we have uh, you know one other small aspect to deal with that is phrase phrase is also a combination of words but phrase does not give you a very lengthy sense it gives you small ideas and it adds to the meaning of the sentence for example say uh, once upon a time there was a king so there was a king is the main sentence and once upon a time this is a phrase it adds meaning to the main sentence but it is not absolutely necessary without once upon a time there was a king is a complete sentence so here we have a sentence all the chocolates in the box this in the box is a phrase so phrase is a combination of words uh, more than two and it gives some small ideas to give a better meaning of the sentence but not essential part so combination of words can be a phrase combination of words can be a clause and combination of words can be you know a sentence also so this is what we have to uh, discuss today and i think you have some idea of clauses and sentences so uh, watch the video carefully and uh, if there is any in confusion please uh, don't forget to write to us uh, like it uh, then share it have a nice time thank you very much bye